Hello and welcome to our talk on UCAS personal statements. If you're in that stage where you're filling out your UCAS ap application and you're struggling with that personal statement, then I've got 10 minutes to talk you through statements, how they work, and hopefully answer some lingering questions you might have about them. In this session, we'll cover key information, what to include, using AI, and some tools to support you with writing your statements. What's UCAS? It's the university and college's admissions service in the UK for higher education. They provide you with information, advice, guidance to inspire and facilitate educational progression to university, college or degree apprenticeships. And usually you have five choices. This means choices for where you'd like to study and what courses you'd like to study. So let's go straight in with what makes a successful application. Lots and lots of things go into that application. Of course, they're looking at your grades, your teacher reference, and, but most importantly, they're looking at your personal statement. And let's look at some of those facts that we have from that. Firstly, 4,000 characters is your limit, and that's approximately 47 lines, including spaces. Technically, there's no formal structure, and you can write in it in whichever way you want. However, I'd say that the tried and tested essay format is the best way to go. There's no spelling or grammar check in the UCAS form. So when it comes to the website, it, it comes up like a little box and you can fill out all of your information. So don't write it in there to start with. Make sure you add it to a Word document and you can complete your spelling and grammar checks through there. Then you can input it into the personal statement tool on UCAS and once you're happy with it, add it to your application as the last step. Finally, our admissions team read every personal statement. So make sure that yours is original and you've got everything in there that you want to share with not only the admissions team, but the course teams as well that will be reading it. Now, why are personal statements so important? First of all, universities and colleges are incredibly competitive at the minute and you want to put your best foot forward. Secondly, you might not always get an interview. So some courses you'll have an inter interview before they make the decision but the majority don't. So the personal statement is your only opportunity to sell yourself and make sure they know exactly why you want to study the course. And finally the personal statements give you gives you the chance to talk about your passions outside of the classroom as well. So figuring out what you want to put in your personal statement can be really challenging and we suggest trying to answer some of these questions provided by UCAS to formulate your ideas. For example, why have you chosen your, the course? What experience do you have that's relevant? And what are your ambitions? It's important to note that you only have one personal statement and you're making five choices. So you need to make sure that your statement is reflective of all of those choices. And we recommend that you speak about your course or subject area for about 70% of the statement leaving 30% for your skills. Using the ABC method to structure your examples will help you demonstrate why you're the perfect person for the chosen course. ABC, as you can see here, stands for action, benefit, and course. So remembering this acronym will help you talk about your experiences to really sell yourself in that statement. So after you've written your introduction, you'll then need to write the main body of your statement, which details your experiences and interest in the course. And this is when you can start using the ABC method to construct the paragraphs um, that will um, talk about your experiences from education, work experience and extracurricular activities. So let me break it down a little bit more. Um, ABC, the action is what have you done? Benefit is what skills have you gained from that? And then course is how has this prepared you for your chosen course? As you can see in this example here, the first action so shows that they're a, a member of the swimming team. And the benefits of this might be that they've developed skills in time management, data evaluation, for example, looking at competition times and communication. And on the sports psychology course, um, they'll be confident when collaborating with others and to comp complete group projects in a timely manner, as well as having good understanding of data analysis. So you can really see how that pieces together, just your actions lead to, to why you'd be right for the course. Go through some do's and don'ts of personal statements. These are ones we would consider things that you should do. So do consider a human will be reading, reading each and every statement, and there's a chance they'll have to read many statements on that day. You want yours to stand out from the crowd and make sure that it's really personal to you. Make it relevant. So if you follow that ABC method, it can really help you um, if you're unable to apply 
a particular action or experience that you've had to the course, it might not be important to mention something like that. And then out outline your ideas really clearly. Avoid the negatives and showcase your strengths. And expect to produce several drafts and ask people to, to proofread it for you. So maybe they know you better than you know yourself and you might have missed some really important points that you want to add to, the, to your statement. Some of the don'ts might be really obvious. For example, don't be shy or modest. This will be important throughout your future, whether it's uni applications, job interviews, or accepting a prize in the future. You've got to make sure that passion and experience shines through what you write in there. Don't leave it to the last minute. Don't let spelling mistakes spoil your statement. And finally, don't copy someone else's statement, something which I'll come on to a little bit more in a moment. AI, and most notably ChatGPT, is used by millions of people worldwide, including in ed education, work and personal lives. It's important to know the rules around AI in personal statements and what it can be used for. UCAS considered the use of ChatGPT to write your whole personal statement for you as cheating and it may impact your application. They do have some tracking, tracking software and it can determine your statement to be AI generated and they'll notify institutions if they recognise this. However, there is a way that you can use it and use it to your advantage. We recommend to use it to brainstorm ideas, um, help you with structure, uh, and check the readability of your text. So remember to check everything after you've used it and, and, and don't copy and paste straight from ChatGPT or other AI tools directly into your UCAS personal statement builder or in a Word document. We say here that it's really useful for stats and facts as well, but it does lack that personal element. So that's why it's always referred to as the personal statement. I mentioned quite a few times throughout, the, throughout this presentation about the UCAS Personal Statement Builder. You can access this on your UCAS hub. So if you go straight on there, it's one of the tools that's, that's available for everyone, it, it, including other tips and tools that are available through the hub. If you speak with your school or college, or you can even get in touch with us and we can help you guide you through those, through those tools. You can always use uh, the UCAS uh, YouTube account as well. So there's lots of videos on advice, tips, do's and don'ts and things like that. So definitely check that out. So to finish, here are our top tips. We say start as early as you can. Um, write everything down. Be enthusiastic. Make drafts. Make it personal. And read it out loud as many times as you can. That's everything. So thank you for listening. And don't forget, if you have any questions, you can contact us via email that's on the screen or on social media. Otherwise, best of luck with your applications.